Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Tutorials. This is Tudor and today we're gonna be talking about genetic algorithms and how to use them to optimize our trading strategies. Genetic algorithms are a type of optimization algorithms which rely on the processes of natural selection and evolution. These processes inform and shape um, the constituency of populations over many, many generations. Darwin's theory of evolution states that in a given population, not all individuals are created equal. The most fit individuals get selected to mate and carry their uh, genes forward into the next generations, while the least fit ones perish. Hence the saying, survival of the fittest. This process, repeated over and over again, results in each new generation being on average fitter than the previous one. And the goal of uh, this optimization algorithm is eventually to find the most fit individual given a set of constraints. When applying uh, genetic algorithms to an optimization problem, we need to figure out one, how do we encode one individual? What does it mean to be an individual in this population? And two, what is our fitness function? What uh, separates the good individuals from the bad ones. An individual is a possible solution to our problem. It is a collection of genes, each gene describing one of the features that we want to optimize. The fitness function tells us how each individual in that population uh, solves the problem. It is a way to score all the individuals and it will help us with selecting the best ones. Three key concepts uh, used in genetic algorithms are selection, mating and mutation. Selection is the process by which we select the best individuals out of a population, normally using the fitness function. Once we score all the individuals, we will select the top X percent um, and uh, they get to move forward to the mating process. Mating is the process by which we combine two or more individuals to create uh, a new uh, individual or a new group of individuals. Uh, normally we do this by uh, uh, getting uh, genes from each of the individuals involved and putting them together uh, uh, to create a new individual. Some of the newly created individuals will then go, uh, go on to also be mutated. Mutation introduces a little bit of randomness in each new generation so that each new generation is not going to be an exact genetic copy of the previous one and it will have some original features. Considering that there are uh, different best choices for different optimization problems, we need to figure out how to code uh, these three key elements given our problem. What's the best way to, to, to code it given our problem? Once we've decided how selection, mating, and mutation work, we need to uh, decide just a couple of more things. Uh, number one, how many generations are we gonna run this algorithm for? And number two, uh, how many individuals are there gonna be in one generation? As well as how many of a generation will we select to go forward, like what's the percentage out of the best fit to go forward to mating, as well as the parameters for a mutation and selection. Once we've decided on all these things, we can go forward and code our optimization algorithm. Let's do it. Wow. So we obviously had pretty bad um, uh, initial um, parameters right here, uh, but look, that's a huge, huge, huge increase. Um, it it proves that um, this strategy optimizer works. It doesn't prove that it works, but it shows that it has potential because at the end of the day, we're back testing. We're not running it live, so we're only seeing past data. 